And the marathon continues. The marathon continues. I've been on this mission. If you know, you know. If you don't know, you got to find out. You got to find out. Um, yeah, I've been on this mission, man. We still in monk mode. We still in monk mode. It is, what is it? What is today? It is September 18th still. It is 6.17 p.m. We still in monk mode. We still grinding. This is 100 Simple Life Truths, as you can tell from the title. The title of this episode is Which Way Is Your Spiral Headed? Which Way Is Your Spiral Headed? Um, I did not end up going to the gym, as you can tell. I was supposed to go to the gym. If you watched episode 65, you know that. If you didn't, go watch episode 65 and then come back to this. You know what I mean? We got to do things in order. Stay consistent. We have to be systematic in our moves, right? We got to be systematic. We got to do things in order. We can't skip. We can't skip because each one is a reflection of the, of the next one. Each one, you know, they go in order for a reason. So, if you just stumbled upon this, then you need to go to episode one and watch all of them in, in, in succession, you know what I mean? And take your time with it. Don't rush through it. Take your time with it. Watch, you know, watch the first episode. Comment on the first episode. Say you about to, you're new to the series. You're about to rock it out, whatever the case may be, right? So, we want to be systematic in everything we do in our life. We want to have a plan. We want to go and follow the plan, follow the schedule. Um, I'm going to get right into this. Episode 66, which way is your spiral headed? My spiral is heading upwards. Upwards because I am... I am on a trajectory of growth, right? I'm I'm growing every day. I'm learning every day. I'm still taking losses every day as well. But you know what? Those losses are helping me grow. Those losses are helping me learn. So let's get into it. I am your host. You are abundant, you are learning, you are listening, you are loved, you are great, you are the champion, right? You are here. And I hope you're here. <laughs> if you get if you get that, then you get it. If you don't, sorry, I can't help you. So he starts off by saying, we get on a roll and then all of a sudden we get derailed. Some of us fall into slums and we just seem to, uh, seems that we fall deeper and deeper into an endless pit. I've been in that situation before where I, I I took I started taking losses and it just was seems virtually impossible to get out of it, right? But you gotta keep your faith, you gotta keep your your uh tenacity. I like that word. You gotta keep your tenacity and you gotta just do it. You gotta make a plan and work at that plan every day until you where you wanna be, right? The term rock bottom loses meaning because we never feel like we land. And once, and once we think we felt the worst of it, somehow it finds its way to get worse. Man, listen, I've had some months, recently some months that has just been kicking my ass, bro. Like just hitting me, hitting me, hitting me, hitting me, hitting me. And every time I think I'm about to be good, I'm about to like level out, something else coming. I'm like, yeah, it's impossible. It's literally impossible. But guess what? My positivity outweighs any negativity that this life can bring to me. I am... The life is nine is ten percent of what happens to you and nine percent of how you react to it. So as as the things that are happening to me that I'm not necessarily in control of and it's just like happening, literally just happening to me, I'm just going through a positive, right? I'm I'm of course feeling it. I'm 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 taking the negative aspects of it, understanding it, and I'm just going past through it like with positivity and understanding that it's just a test. Excuse me, it's just a test and I'm gonna be good regardless. All right? It's a roller coaster ride of life. There are highs, lows, but the highs and successes are always easier to forget and the failures and low points seem to haunt us a bit longer. I agree. I agree because when I'm in this in this space where it's like I can't seem to get to where I wanna be or I seem like I'm not where I wanna be and it, it seems like I can't like nothing is working everything that i'm trying is not working i remember i remember that more than i remember when i was up when i was good when life was perfect right 
that's the work of our mind, right? You got to be able to control your mind. That's what part of this. That's what this series is part of is learning yourself and being able to control your mind and controlling how you react to certain situations and learning how you react to certain situations because you can't change yourself until you know yourself, right? You can't change yourself until you know yourself. Unhappiness is simply when the picture in your head doesn't match the picture in front of you. Correct. Correct. When your goals or the things that you that you want in life, which are your goals, don't seem obtainable or they're not right in front of you, you, you seem to get unhappy. And happiness and happiness is a fleeting feeling, right? So when you get into those unhappy situations, you need to understand why you're unhappy and figure out what it's going to take for you to get happy and just go do it. Simple. It's simple. It sounds simple, but it's hard because you need to know about yourself to get out of an unhappy mindset. The majority of things majority of things that we uh, encounter are set to keep us restricted and in sort of a sad type of mode. Um, and once that mismatch is discovered, the gap seems to widen even more. What can we do? What can we do? Well, for starters, we can adjust the picture in our head. Oftentimes that picture includes things that are completely out of our control, like people. Correct. Correct, correct, correct. Never put too much um, too much stock in someone else's... Never, never let someone else have too much stock in your life to where their actions affect how your life is going to play out. That's a major key. That's a major, major key. Never put too much... Never put stock in someone else's hands to control your life. Right? Maybe someone didn't treat us the way we wanted to be treated, or maybe a situation didn't work out the way we hope. And that happens often. Like we've all been in failed relationships. Well, I'm not gonna say we all. I've been in failed relationships where I thought that it was it was gonna be perfect, everything was gonna be great, and maybe to my fault or to the other person's fault, or whatever the case may be, it didn't work, right? So you can't put too much stock into other people's lives. Well, you can't put too much stock into other people to affect your life. How, how, am I, how am I wording this? You can't give. You can't have. You can't let some. I said it right the first time. I can't remember how I said it. You can't give someone else the power to have stock in your life. That's what it is, because when they have stock in your life, then they become a shareholder and shareholders get to vote on certain things and. You don't get to let people do that for you, right? Uh, where is one? These expectations and hope are the real culprits, not the people and the outcomes. Yes. Control, 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 control your expectations, especially of people, right? Control your expectations of people. Don't let them be too grandiose and too vast and too big because you're going to get let down, right? You're going to get let down and you need to you need to limit the amount of disappointment you allow in your life, right? You need to limit the amount of disappointment that's possible in your life, right? So we're all going to get disappointed by things in our lives. There's certain things going to disappoint us. We're going to be upset by certain things, but if we can control how much of that it is, if we lower our expectations, right? And not of yourself. You should have high expectations of yourself, right? Just don't just don't live too high up in, in those in terms of expect yourself to be great, right? But if what you expect it to be great, like say you expect to get a new job, but you don't get that new job, don't let it affect you so much because that's when depression hits and it's not something you need to be depressed about. Um, also, we can also adjust the picture in front of us. Every moment is a moment to try to make the life we want and change the things we dislike. Obviously, this is easier said than done. I feel like I have said that often. Correct. I, I say that almost every episode because the things that I'm talking about, if they were easy, everybody would be doing it and I wouldn't have to talk about it. 
So it is easier said than done, but it's worth it. It's worth the challenge. It's worth to, it's worth to put yourself in a little bit of uh, discomfort to come out the other side glorious, right? And I'm going to stop right there to read the quote because it, 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 um, it correlates. The quote is, your pain is the breaking of the shell that encloses your understanding. It is the bitter potion by which the physician within you heals your sick self. Therefore, trust the physician and drink his remedy in silence and tranquility. Silence and tranquility. Right? So learn, adapt, and, and grow. Mm, but what is easy these days? If I expected an easy life, you better find the person who prompt. Well, if you expected an easy life, you better find the person who promised you that and punched them in the, in the nose because they lied, right? Trust your struggle. Life is a struggle. The journey is the experience, the outcome, especially when successful. Will be forgotten quickly and replaced with the new things to worry about. So he's saying... Trust the process, trust your pain, trust your growth and enjoy the journey of all of that because once you become successful, you're going to forget all of that stuff and then you're going to create new a new journey because the journey never ends. The journey just, the, the, the goal just changes, right? Once you get to the destination that you want to be, like, okay, you get the new job. Now the new goal is to thrive in that job and to move up and keep moving up in, in, in the company, I guess, right? So don't worry about, trust your struggles. Life is the struggle, right? The journey is the experience, the outcome, especially when the outcome is success, will be forgotten quickly and replaced with new things to worry about, right? We're always going to be changing the things we're worrying about. We're, no one is absent of worry. No one is absent of worry. So enjoy it while you can. Enjoy everything that's going on every day in the present because once you get to a different space in your life, you're going to have new worries. The fact that we have time to overthink and overanalyze things is a sure indication that we're spoiled with the leisure time to direct our resources towards creating problems instead of other things like surviving. Yes, if you see, if you got time to sit down and think about the struggles that you're going through, you got time to think about how to get out them struggles. If you have time to sit there and think about the struggles and to wallow in your own misfortune and be sad about the things that happened to you in your life, you also had this, that same time to you also had that same time to think about the good and think about the good and also think about how to get out of the bad you just not use, utilize your time wisely and i say that about um money as well like you you're not broke you have a spending problem you're not living within your means you're living within society's expectations of things that you're supposed to have right so um yeah the fridge has food in it. The water is coming out of the faucet. There is no, there are no intimate internal threats. So let that exist. Ex what? I don't know how to pronounce that word, and it's a simple word. <laughs> but I'm gonna just let's. Uh, so let's get existential and find some other reason to suffer. I don't know why. I don't think that's the word. But whatever. Whatever. Some words just trip me up. I'm retarded. I'm not retarded, but, you know. What he's saying here is basically, and this may not apply to you, right? Your water is running. You have food in your fridge. You, you're you doing better than a lot of people in this world. And even if you don't have those things, right, you're alive. I'll take it down to as simple as you're alive. You're, you're able to breathe the air that you're breathing right now. So you have the opportunity to change any negativity that's going on in your life. You just have to want to do it. You have to be able and wanting to do it and wanting to, you don't necessarily have to want to go through the struggle. No one wants to go through the struggle, but your want to be successful and to get out of the pain has to be stronger than your desire not to go through the struggle. So you have to focus more on the outcome than the journey. And when you're in the journey, you have to appreciate the journey because if you're sitting there, the journey will never end and you'll never get to where you want to be if you're, if you're, negative towards the journey you can't be negative towards the journey um even the problems that may be real that may be real become inflated with our drama queen x ways of viewing them yeah we like to make things bigger than they are pretty much so 
I don't have an example for that, but we like to make things bigger than they are. Our center of the universe complex complex ensures that there cannot be problems greater than our own. And trust me, there are way bigger problems than whatever it is you're going through. Um, there are wars going on in the world. You don't, hopefully you don't live in a place where you wake up and you're 100% not sure if you're going to die from a random bomb today or like there's some there's some things going on in this world if you watch the news like you understand like there's wars and all types of violence going on in the world and people that's really hungry and starving homeless um not knowing if they're gonna wake up and their their tent is gonna be gone whatever the case may be but you want to be the center of the universe and you want to think that your problems are bigger than anyone else's problems when you can look around and see physically see other people's problems and they're way worse than yours right so not saying take their struggle as a blessing for you for your life but take their struggles and understand that you can be worse off and if you're in a place to where you you can be worse off and you're working to get better enjoy it enjoy it you know what i mean it's not to say look down on people but just take you could take um, motivation from people above you and people above you. You could be motivated to not be in the position that they're in, and you could be motivated to be in the position that they're in, right? So take motivation from all angles. You could take motivation from someone that's next to you, but they have a better trajectory, a better outlook, and a better trajectory on life, right? Be motivated by their positivity. They may not be have better things in you or, or, or be in a better place in life, you know what I mean? You may live in a two-bedroom house, and they may live in a, in a studio, Right, but they have a positive attitude. Take their positive attitude, bring it to yourself. You have to take the motivation from the people that can motivate you in the way that you need to be motivated. If you want to be motivated to not end up falling behind, you look at people that are behind you. And everyone has a place in life. There's people there are always gonna be people below you, there's always gonna be people above you. Right? And what that means is is for you is for you to decide. You know what I mean? Because other everyone holds stake in and value in certain different things, right? Some people hold value in their free time and they decide they want to be homeless because they don't have to go to work. They don't have to, they're not tied down to any schedule and they can just be whatever the case may be. But other people may hold value in having a place to live or a nice car or just money, you know what I mean? So you got to understand what your values are and and take the values that you hold personally for yourself and take them and get the motivation from wherever you need to get the motivation from to be able to excel. Hopefully maybe these videos are motivation to you. You can find a book that's motivation to you. Uh, something has to be motivating to you, right? Your family, something. He goes on to say there's no magic pill or mantra that clears us of our suffering ways. Pain is a part of us just as much as our fingers and toes. How much we choose to suffer is a different story. Exactly. Choose your suffering. Choose the things that you want to go through. And sometimes, I don't agree because sometimes you may not be able to choose your suffering because there is a destination and you, all right, say, say you want to join the military, right? And you want to be a high ranking captain. You can't choose that suffering because you have to go through basic training. You have to go through certain trials and tribulations to, to get those stars on your on your badge or to get those um those ranks so in that case you can't choose the suffering but in certain things there's always there's always a, a, a pathway there's different pathways to get certain things and if you want to take a a easier pathway to get to where you need to go then that's fine but understand that there's going to be some type of challenge in the way because say for, like say for me cybersecurity, right i took a longer pathway by actually going to get my degree there's people that just wanted to go and get their their certs their certifications comp tia you know security plus network plus whatever the case may be and they're already doing what i want to do but they took an easier route and not saying that the certification studying for it is not hard but it's 100 percent easier than going through a four-year uh, getting a four-year degree it just is what it is it, it is that's an undeniable fact I took the longer route some people took the the shorter route and 
just because my route was longer and I had different types of struggles doesn't mean that they didn't struggle at all in, in, in their process. We're both going for the same thing and we're both struggling in different ways to get to that process. So, yeah. Choose, choose the suffering. How much we choose to suffer is a different story. So, you know, you can choose. There's always several different ways to get to where you want to be. Now, the last part of this one, he says, he says, we decide how much in life, we decide how much of life is a tragedy or comedy, which will determine if we spiral up or down. Besides, in a hundred years, none of this will matter. Enjoy it while you can. That's the, that's the best part. That is the best part. In a hundred years, literally none of this will matter, right? Your successes, unless you become like the president or something like that, or or you just become a, a super significant person to the world, right? And you have a legacy of going on. Even if you do that, right? It's still not going to matter. You want to know why? Because you're going to be dead regardless. And you're not going to be able to see the accolades that you got in, in, in prior years, right? As you're dead, as you're dead, and I did an episode on this too, the one thing that we're all promised is is, is death, is that life will end. And um, in 100 years, like you said, in 100 years, none of this is going to matter. You need to enjoy life now. Understand that you're on a process, you're on a journey, you will get to where you're going to go to, where you're going to get to where you're going to. And you might as well enjoy it while you're going, while you're there, while you're going there, because you're going to enjoy it while you're there. And then once you get there, you're going to start a brand new journey. And who knows what that's going to be once you get there? Who knows how, how much your, your mindset will change or how much your, your, your ideas are going to change by the time you reach the goal that you're currently thinking of right now? Nobody knows. You don't know. You may have a plan. All right, I'm going to reach this goal. Then I'm going to reach this goal. Then I'm going to reach this goal. Then I'm going to reach this goal. But things change. As a kid, do you still have the goal that you had as a kid? Like when they told you to write down, oh, what do you want to be when you grow up? I wanted to be a firefighter. There's no way in hell I'll ever be a firefighter. Because I, I understand what that job entails. And that's just not me. It's not me. And you got to learn yourself. You got to know what you're capable of so that you give yourself realistic goals. So that you can spiral upward, not downward. Because if, if you set some crazy, unrealistic goals for the person that you are, and everything in this world is accomplishable, right? But you got to know the type of person you are. You got to know. Like, I, I full-fledged think that school is not for everybody. I full-fledged believe that being a CEO of a company is not for everybody. Being a firefighter is not for everybody. Being a cop is not for everybody. So you got to give yourself realistic goals for the type of person you are, for your for your archetype. You know what I mean? If 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 you hate reading and writing, you can't be a lawyer. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you have no compassion for people, you can't be a doctor. And not saying any of those things are are inherently bad. They just are what they are. We take stock. We have to um take stock. We, we determine what's good and what's bad, right? Some things are inherently bad, right? If you don't like to read, it's not bad, right? It's not, it's not a good thing, but it's not a bad thing either, right? If you have no, no compassion for people, it's not necessarily a bad thing. You should want to have compassion for people, but as long as you're not out there killing people, then you're not bad. In my, in my personal eyes, you may think that if you don't have compassion for people, then you're just a bad person in general. You know what I mean? But you don't, you don't, Everybody is not meant to be the same, right? We all have certain like archetypes and stuff like that, but yeah, everyone is not the same. Um, I think that's it. Figure out which way you're spiraling. Figure out how to spiral upwards. Figure out how to grow. Figure out how to grow, learn, and adapt every day. Figure out who you are. Figure out who you are so you can make your learning process, your growing process, and your, and your adaption to who you are easier, right? The more you know about yourself, the easier it is to be yourself, right? And not compromise your goals and your, your journey for other people. And while you're on that journey, enjoy the journey, love the journey, embrace the journey, and live in the present of the journey, knowing that as every minute passes, as long as you're putting in some effort towards your end goal, end goal being like in quotation marks, because even once you get to your end goal, you're going to get new goals. Um... Understand that 
in 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 the in the in the present which we're all in right now as you're listening to this it's your it's your present i'm recording this right now it's my present that we that we are we are growing we are good right life is going to work out life is going to work out just learn about yourself that's it like comment subscribe share all that good stuff um connect with me connect with me tell me how y'all feel about the series so far we're on episode 66 and I'm knocking them out. I'm having fun doing this. This is uh keeping me grounded. It's keeping me from spiraling downward. Because once I feel like I'm losing like my mental sometimes, I um I come in here, I record, and then I get right back onto my grind. And and it's it's self-motivating to be able to release these, whether you know I'm getting any views or anything like that. I really don't care. It's it's self-motivating to me because I know once I'm out of this space in my life, I'm going to be able to come back and look at these and be like, you know what? Goat. <laughs> I'm a goat. You know what I mean? Because I stay positive through all the negativity that it is my life right now. And not saying that my life is horrible. My life is good. But there's some things that I that I want to change that's going to take time for me to change, right? And I'm, I'm realistic on the process and on the journey. So I'm going to enjoy the journey until I'm where I need to be. I hope y'all enjoyed. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And enjoy.